bring in Jonathan Ofe Ansa now, an Africa analyst and the founder of Africa Briefing magazine. He joins us from London. Thanks very much for being with us. So I want to ask you, first of all, about the merits of this uh, particular case. Do the, the opposition candidates that are, are, are challenging these results, do they have a legitimate case here? Well, um, whether they have a legitimate case or not, um, uh, in the history since uh, Nigeria returned to uh, democratic rule in 1999. Uh, no, I mean, virtually every every elected presidential election result has been contested. Bar just one, when uh, um, uh, uh, Goodall Jonathan gracefully conceded to uh, Mohammed uh, Buhari, the previous, um, uh, the previous president. So, but though, the 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 the, the opposition the opposition um, candidates uh, Peter Obi and the PDF uh, candidate uh, Abu Bakr believe that they have a, a legitimate case you know to file the to contest the elections. Number one, um, Peter uh, 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 Tinubu garnered only uh, eight point seven nine million votes. I mean, representing only thirty seven percent of the total vote cast. No, and um, there were about 25 million voter, uh, 25 million votes cast out of the 87 million eligible you know, voters, you know, with um, uh, with voter ID cards, and the turnout was also a mere 29 percent, you know, which was a decline from the 35 percent recorded previously in the 2019 elections, and they alleged that um, 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 uh, Tinubu. Uh, fought his uh, academic um, qualifications, you know, which is against the law. Okay, and also he was indicted, you know, uh, in the U.S. on drug charges. And but these are yet to be proven by the tribunal, which uh, is going to be uh, uh, delivering its verdict today. So they believe that they have a, a legitimate uh, case for the election, for the elections. To be annulled. So we are so we are here to see if the tribunal okay. will uphold okay. the yeah. appeal. Let me ask you as well about the point that was made uh, by the the senior advocate in um, Adeshwa's report there that this could set a a, a, a bad precedent that uh, any time um, a candidate doesn't doesn't like the results they can they can uh, go through the courts to to challenge it. Is that a um, is that a real concern? Do you think? Well, it is a concern because, like I said earlier, on, since uh, the advent of uh, uh, of the democratic dispensation in 1999, virtually every single you know presidential election result has been contested. Ban bar one, when uh, Gulo Jonathan gracefully conceded to uh, Muhammad Buhari, right? But um, each you know, each uh, contested um, uh, uh, pool. Well, uh, 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 was uh, uh, overturned by the appeals court, so we don't expect you know the uh, uh, today's ruling to be any different from the previous ones. So where do you see this uh, playing out then? I mean, is it is? Uh, I mean, do you think that uh, the, the 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 results will stand, or 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 could they be could they be uh, could they be overturned then by by this decision? Well, judging from from previous previous appeals, uh, I believe that uh, the result will stand. Yes. All right. Good to get your thoughts uh, on this, uh, Jonathan Offey. Answer. Thanks for being with us.